it is so 1915 to insult your fellow woman with things like you're a prostitute, you're a whore, you slept with 100 men. And then, aha. Uh -huh. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, hmm, um, um, <laughs> so obviously I haven't been here in a long 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 time the content I used to create on my channel was mostly makeup actually only makeup and that doesn't fit into my, into my reality anymore and that's why I always feel stressed thinking about what makeup content to film because it's, it's not matching based on responses that I get on Instagram as to you know like how i give my opinions on some topics and stuff like that people always tell me <laughs> that my instagram stories make them laugh and then um, they've always they kind of find it interesting sometimes when i give my opinion on like trending topics and you know stuff like that so i was like you know what why not just make this into a thing give my opinion like i know no one asks for it but i'm gonna give it anyway Okay. I feel like that's where I am right now, just talking about stuff, back to the reason I wanted to film <laughs> this video. This was um, prompted by the fight between two powerhouses in Nigeria, um, Tiwa Savage and Shei Shei. Um, if you haven't seen that video, like, really? <laughs> where have you been? <laughs> the video is sweet, okay? Go and watch it. <laughs> Disclaimer, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've, I'm really, or I wasn't really interested in the reason for the fight. I still do not know the reason for the fight. I do not follow Tiwa Savage's um, story, neither do I follow um, Shishi's story or anything like that. I only know some of their songs, and that is that. I found the video, so it was like a shock to me. Like I never ever thought that was going to happen in terms of Tewa Savage and Shishi she fighting in public, like exchanging words in public and not mind being filmed for public consumption for people like us that like Apropo or people like us that like entertainment, you know? The purpose of this video is not really to get into the fight itself or why they fought or when the fight started or anything like that. I just wanted to like pick out a few things from that video and and you know talk about it like seriously but firstly on to like on serious things about the video where did the accents come from i'm getting you think that's you think that's all it is Tiwa, if you want to stop acting now i've never seen I'm that acting like a liar right now carry on i'm not by calling me in the corner and talking about shit. Yeah. If not, if I, not... I think both she she and Tiwa Savage moved back from overseas to nigeria honestly do not know where in the overseas because if you actually listen to the accents they were giving in the video was not really matching where they said they came from so like me i watched the video expecting fights between two niger babes the accents threw me off like if everything was mixing together american british indonesian you know malaysian the were called mix you know I just couldn't tell which was which and um, all the yo 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 what you gonna do, do uh, <laughs> like everything just um <clears throat> you know it, it didn't feel like a serious fight like you were not ready to fight because if you are really ready to fight the the the, the insults that will be coming out is not a matter of you man you've you've got a bad spirit I'm like really is this what we're doing and as i was watching the video i was missing my yoruba actresses i'm a yoruba girl to the core i love my yoruba language so much and i love yoruba movies you know i'm not part of the people that say i don't watch african magic yoruba stop it stop it i love it and i just don't watch yoruba movies i also follow the drama in yoruba industry it's a lot okay the drama in yoruba industry is a lot if you love yoruba movies you watch yoruba movies and you do not follow the drama in the yoruba industry nah you are getting half of the story okay try and follow try and follow up these people are moving fast they move so fast with their drama okay just try and follow up see let me tell you 
You buy actresses when they are fighting. It's cost that they use to insult each other. You know, there is insult and there is cost. Insult is you are, st- you are stupid, you are smelling. But the cost is when they fight. See, I'm not exaggerating. You know, if you're watching drama in the Yoruba industry, like when two people are beefing or when two people are fighting, whatever religion it is you you, you partake in, you have to grab a holy book and anointing oil and anointing water and anoint yourself because the level of the courses, you just have to pray you don't catch a straight course. Like courses will just be flying around and one course will just feel like, hey, I've not landed on someone. Someone is watching on Instagram, bam, let it land on you. You have to be protected. Those people do not joke with their courses. Do you understand? Is your bad actresses that I know that when they are beef, when they are beefing, they use their children to cost, they use their husbands to cost, and they know that they are lying. <laughs> Do you understand? They know deep down in, in they know deep down that they are telling lies, and they will still use their children to cost. It's like, ma'am. Even some of them that will be pregnant will use their unborn children to cost, knowing fully well that what they are costing about, they did it. But they don't care. They have to prove that they are right. So when people were saying, ah, how could they wash I'm like, leave it, leave it. It's a normal thing. If you are, if it's a normal thing, they use children to cause when they are fighting, especially in Yoruba. They use children to cause, so leave it. That's why you see a lot of people working on the street affected by this causes. Why they say causes from back home. They use children to cause, so just, just leave it. And then another thing was when. Initially, like in the video, you know, they were still speaking English and stuff like that. In my mind, I'm like, these girls are not ready. These girls are not ready. Because there are some arguments you cannot have in English. You have to have it in your native language. Because there are some things in English language that just cannot express what you feel. Our native languages are so expressive. There are so many things in the Yoruba language that you cannot find the meaning in English. Like you can't translate into English. This one is using English. You have a bad spirit. You have a bad spirit. Is that one insult? Is that one fight? Is that one cause? You have a bad spirit. And then we all have bad spirits in Nigeria. That one is not a new thing. Bring something new. We all we all we all have bad spirits in Nigeria. We are all mean spirited in Nigeria. So bring something new. But for me, where it got serious, and for me, where I got a little bit put off, is when they started using. You are a whore, you are a prostitute. And I'm like, ladies, there are so many things to use to insult yourself. You know what? When Tiwa Savage said, I'm rich bitch or something like that, I'm like, yes. These are the kind of insults me I like to hear. But I feel like it is so outdated. It is so 1820. It is so 1915 to insult your fellow woman with. Things like you're a prostitute, you're a whore, you've slept with 100 men. And then, uh-huh. in the words of my baby girl for life, all of us are a chew, whether you like it or not. Together, everybody are a chew. when they are in their own, they are a chew. Me and my own, I'm a chew. Everybody on his own, a chew. So that's what I can say. In another person's book, you are an a chew. So there is no need to be using a shewu as insult. Like, get out of here with that. You saw the when again, your your kin is dirty. Now I want to say your own is dirty. Like, really, really, girls. For women like me that live in Nigeria, the funny thing is we already know that our society is patriarchal. We know, we know that our society is misogynistic. We know what happens when they want to discredit a woman. Their first line of defense is to paint a woman as a prostitute. Okay? We know this. So it's like, why are you also partaking in this silly and very rash act? Because actually insulting a woman with prostitution or you're an ashewo or you're a slut or you're a harlot or whatever is rash. It shows you as to back in 1750. What it means is you were you were there when Charles Darwin was there. But instead of you to, to have done something innovative or to have invented something like electricity, all that was in your head was how to call women Ashewu. Because obviously you are not of these times. You are not of these times. These times. So for you to still use prostitution or um, a woman or having many sexual partners or even one sexual partner, that's the gag. Because let me tell you, 
in a misogynistic society, it doesn't matter if you have slept with 200 men or if you have slept with one man. It really doesn't matter if you're a virgin. You are going to get called a prostitute at every turn, okay? If you hail a bike man and you know that you are going from point A to B, you know that it is 200 naira, and you hail a bike man, and the bike man tells you it's 550 naira, and you're like, Oh, Benny, I'm not paying 500 uh, uh, with the men's name. Everybody knows that it's 200 naira, and if, if, if you guys get to arguing, we all know what it will end 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 up in is the is the bike man calling you prostitutes at the grassroots level you have people calling you prostitutes if they do not agree with you okay even at the like top institutionalized level you have people calling you all sorts of prostitutes if you take an uber or taxify or boat or whatever it is and you tell the driver, ah, oh, God, softly, softly now. Ah, uh ah, -uh, easy. Don't, don't enter in front of that trailer like that. The next thing is prostitutes. But you are sleeping with men of your father's age. That's why you cannot respect anybody again. You prostitutes, you are lot, you are shewo, you this, you that, omoniri, omodis, omodat. As long as you are a woman, you are a prostitute, especially in Nigeria. You are a prostitute. It doesn't matter if you're 50 years old. It doesn't really matter if you're 12. It doesn't really matter if you're a young adult or a teenager. It doesn't matter to these people. A prostitute is a prostitute. It's a prostitute. It's something women are actively fighting against. Like, you cannot call me a prostitute. You cannot assume that I am a prostitute. And even if I were a prostitute, we still have equal rights. So the point is this. We should be trying to unlearn things like this and not further propagate things like this. Okay, we're all unlearning. Every, I believe that every woman who has lived in Nigeria, who has been brought up in Nigeria, we still struggle with internalized misogyny. Even for someone like me, who I am a proud feminist, I always say it anywhere I go, I still have internalized misogyny. But the thing is, we try to unlearn, and, and, and the thing is, we should all try to not propagate these things for that. Let's, let's, let's rein it in. Let's rein it in, you know. Let's try even more to, to unlearn the misogynistic traits that even we, we have as women. Anyways, wrapping this up, I just want to say, if you're a Nigerian woman living in Nigeria, you are going to get called a prostitute. And we know how stupid that is. We know how dumb that is. And why do we need to say it to each other? It makes no sense. Or does it? It doesn't make any sense. At least to me. If you have any opposing views, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you have any opinions as to what I've talked about in the video, please do leave a comment below. I would love, 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 love to hear your concerns. I would love to hear your opinions. So if you liked this video, please do not forget to click on the like button right now there. And then if you'd like to see more content from me, more videos like this, talking about stuff like this, please subscribe so that you do not miss any of my videos as soon as I upload them. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with me up until this time. I know some of you have left already. It's okay. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.